What's going on boys and girls? In this video I'm going to show you exactly how to set up your GoXLR from every little bit of cable management to software to working inside the application. Basically Santa has just been, you've got a GoXLR, you're watching this video and we are going to set it up from start to finish together with ease I might add. So do enjoy this bit of content. If you do, if it did help, do not forget to firstly like, secondly to subscribe, and thirdly, I do stream on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Henry underscore 1K every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Let's go. Okay, boys and girls, please feast your eyes upon this beautiful bit of artwork that I created in around two and a half minutes. Um, it's just going to show you how to hardwire your Go XLR. So let's get started. We firstly need to power the Go XLR. So from the power port into a socket. Makes sense. Still with me? Okay. Let's go. As you can see, I've got the streaming PC and the gaming PC here. The left one, obviously, the streaming, the right being the gaming. This is to signify a dual PC setup. If you are only using a single gaming PC, then just disregard the streaming PC part and you should be fine. So we need to go from the line out on the Go XLR into the line in on the streaming PC. We then need to go from the line in on the Go XLR. Going to the line out on the streaming PC. These are via aux cables. For the gaming PC, it comes with a USB port here and the USB 3.0 or 2.0. So you go from the USB into the back of the gaming PC. Simples. You're now going to want to head and, uh, set up your headset. So you go from your headset into the headset port. I've got two microphones here. You was wondering, why has Henry 1K got two microphones? I'm only using one, but I'm just showing you that it's slightly different for the Blue Yeti. Um, so for the Blue Yeti, you would need to still power this up via your PC, but then you would need to come from this jack here into the microphone jack. But if you're only using the Shure SM7B, then you just use an XLR cable and it goes straight into the XLR port on the Go XLR. Hopefully that makes sense. In fact, I'm certain it makes sense. So follow them steps and then we're going to get onto the software process and how to download the software for the Go XLR. Stay with me. Be right back. So you've now hardwired the Go XLR. It's in place. It looks great. It looks fantastic. It's got loads of lights, but it doesn't work. Follow these next steps to get it working like a beast. So guys, we're now on the gaming PC. We need to go down to the bottom right where it says system audio. Right click that. Open sound settings. Once you've done that, please click sound control panel. You've now got the sound control panel open. You're going to scroll down and you're going to see that the Go XLR has got several different audio devices. Basically, your Go XLR is telling the PC that we've got more than one audio device. To put it simply, go to your system down at the bottom, right click and select that to be your default, def default, default device. Also, go to your chat icon, right click on that and set that as your default communications device great once you've done that open discord once you've opened up discord you go to voice and video and you go to voice settings once you're inside these settings you go to the input device you want to call that your chat mic tc helicon go xlr you then want to go to the output device and it's going to be chat tc helicon go xlr great you've done that Let's keep going. Almost there, guys. Stick with me. Okay, guys, a little bit of an intermission break just to explain what we've just done. There's four faders, isn't there, on your Go XLR? Basically, there's a system, a chat, the music, and your microphone. Four. So the two that we've just adjusted, two. So we've just separated your system audio to your chat audio being your Discord. What I'm going to show you 
how to do now is to separate your Spotify audio so it has its own separate fader. It doesn't have to be just Spotify. It can be anything. It's just going to change the sound of your music. Da -da, da -da -da, for the sound of music. So let's now set up your GoXLR to work with your Spotify. So one of the faders are working with it. You go down to the bottom right again where it says system. Right click that. Click open sound settings. Go right to the bottom. It says advanced sound options. Click that. You can see all of your advanced sound options. Hopefully you can see Spotify. There is a little bit of a bug. Maybe you need to click play on Spotify to see this Spotify inside this application if you do see it great if you don't see it click play on spotify hopefully you will see it you then want to go to your output so you want to output it through your go xlr so you click on here and then you click music tc helicon go xlr click it just 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 click it once you've clicked it fantastic click x and we're going to be on to the next step Quick pit stop. I tell you what, you're, you could be an IT technician. Have you ever considered a career in IT? N me neither. Anyway, this next step is just going to be the one change that we make inside of OBS, being either on our gaming PC, if we're just using a single PC setup, or a streaming PC, if we're using the dual PC streaming setup. Let's go. If you are on a single gaming PC setup and OBS is on your gaming PC, then go down to settings, go to audio where it says mic slash auxiliary device one. Click that and click broadcast stream mix TC Helicon Go XLR. Boom. Bob's your uncle. Let's move on. So if you're using a dual PC streaming setup and OBS is on your streaming PC, then you need to go to settings. Once you've gone there, go to audio. Once you've gone to audio, you want to go to mic slash auxiliary device one. You want this to be line in. Click line in. Click done. You're done. Leave it. That's it. Move on. I'm not going to lie to you guys, but you've just set up the Go XLR. There are a few changes that you need to make inside the Go XLR app. So please do download the Go XLR app. The link is in the description below. Follow me through to the next part of this video. And we're going to go through some really basic fundamentals to make your mic sound really, really pretty. But just to let you know, guys, if you want to go into a more in-depth video then please do check the link below and i've done a whole how to set up your sure sm7b with your go xlr but this video has got you started you are ready to go out there and stream you are now a mean streaming machine enjoy it <laughs> let's go Please feast your eyes upon the GoXLR app. You're fully set up in the back end. You now need to configure some changes here. Firstly, of course, to set up your mic. Please do click mic setup. Um, if you're using a dynamic condenser or a 3.5 millimeter, just so you know, the 3.5 millimeter being the Blue Yeti, the condenser being the short SM7B, or you could have a dynamic mic. I'm actually using the condenser. I've then changed the gain just so it's normally sits inside the good level as you can see please do play around with this 50 dbs shouldn't do you too wrong once you've done that you can click ok the main settings really is being your threshold here set it so it just opens up when you want the mic to hear the sound that is playing you don't want to hear tapping stuff like that just your voice so speak really quietly and just allow the threshold to work so mine works on minus 52 db Attenuation, I kept on 100%. My attack is on 10 milliseconds and my release is on 400 milliseconds. The release being how long it takes for your mic to lock back off with your gate so it's not hearing fans and 
sound of your cat and stuff like that. I used the equalizer. I just went through these and set it up so it sounded nice with my voice. If you did use these settings, you wouldn't go too far wrong. The compressor, again, I would implement a compressor because it just stops you sounding really loud on stream when you go to a high-pitched moment or have a burst of energy so my thresholds on minus 12 dbs ratio 4 to 1 attack on 2 milliseconds release on 100 milliseconds and my makeup gain is on 15 db my dsr i always put on about 50 it works great try it out just move these knobs around and just listen to yourself back i'm now going to show you how you can listen to yourself back if you go to routing this is how I'm routing my Go XLR. If you were to copy this, you wouldn't step too far out of line. If you want to hear your mic back while you're editing it, then just click on mic and it's going to sound pretty weird because you're going to hear your own voice in your headset. Um, these are really basic fundamentals. Again, just a quick tip, which um, I did all these settings, but I didn't create my own profile and then when I left and come back, it went back to default. And you can imagine it's quite annoying. So do remember to set up your own profile. I've called my main. I've only got one. And then as you're implementing changes, don't forget to hit the save button. Boys and girls, you're amazing. Well done. Amazing work. Five stars. You've set up the Go XLR. It works brilliantly, I hope. If you've got any questions, whack them in the comments below and we'll get back to you. I've also got a Discord in the description. Please join us. Come say hello. We've got a team of streamers and we have fun. I also stream on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Henry underscore 1K. If you would like to see a more in-depth look into the Go XLR how to set up the mic and all the fundamentals with the Shure SM7B or that being a Blue Yeti. Please just write in the comments below. Please, please sir. C can we have some more? No. <laughs> Thanks for being here, guys. See you soon.